The main difference between psychology and mythology is that psychology generalizes unambiguity at the levels of individuals, while in mythology, or I should rather say among the interpreters of myths, generalized unambiguity acquires a collective character. And for stru structuralists such as Levi Strauss, the standardized reification of human beliefs reach an apotheosis that knows no boundaries, neither in time nor in space, not only among people, but also between nations. We are here no longer talking about individuals. Mythology as a science, therefore, is a mass psychology embracing entire nations. The idea of isolation and identity, which we analyzed in our series called Metaphilosophy, in this scientific field, accordingly, demonstrates its power over human thinking. The worldview is hence formed like molecules consisting of predetermined archetypes. And while the assumption of such monstrous mental constructions, which by their size and pretensions bring mind to the myth of the Tower of Babel, and by their architectural principles rather reminiscent of the Nephile Coxedia or the land of the birds in Aristophanes' play with the same name. Another absurdity lies here in how a scientific researcher managed to get inside in the world of the representatives of mythological paradigms in order to then set out the contours of the latter on the basis of the researcher's own worldview to convey a certain picture of the lost, lost world in question. And a similar situation has de developed in other humanitarian sciences about human ideas, such as religious studies, anthropology, cultural studies, and sociology, which are actually based on the same principles, boiling down to a fate in the universal significance of mass psychology. Moreover, there are no clear boundaries between the areas of research and methodologies of these sciences. And while mechanics, thermodynamics, electrodynamics and optics, for example, are considered branches of physics, not a single philosophical concept except the scientific positivism of August Comte seems, however, to deny the fundamental dependence of these humanities on psychology.